Hello, my name is Kent Reeves. I'm a longtime member here at Bethlehem Baptist Church. One of my favorite passages in the Bible is Proverbs 9:10. Fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And that's because I was in, I've been intrigued by this, the simplicity of this message. All of us desire to be wise people. We want other people to see us as wise people. But the problem I have with this passage is the part about fearing the Lord. You see, all my life, I've been taught by my preachers and my teachers to be in a relationship with God. And I just didn't understand how the best way to be in a relationship with, with God was to be motivated by fear. So I prayed on the matter. I talked to other people about the matter. And eventually I came to this understanding that while fearing another person is probably not the best way to have a relationship with that person, God is not simply another person. God is the creator of heaven and earth. God created the rules by which he governs his creation. God is in control of all aspects of my life, including my life and the way I live it, and my death. God is worth my fear. And when I came to that understanding, God transformed my fear of the Lord into something that was more like worship of the Lord and loving the Lord and caring about what the Lord cares about for me. Now, as parents and grandparents, we all have hopes and dreams for our children. We hope that they're healthy. We have a desire that they are successful in life. We have a desire for them to make wise decisions with their lives. But all too often, we tend to push them into measuring their decisions by what this world tells them is wise. We would serve our children much better if we push them into having a proper fear of the Lord. One of the passages that our kids are learning in Upward Basketball this year is Proverbs 23, 3. And it goes like this. A wise person foresees danger and takes precaution. So I'm going to leave you this morning with this question. Have you taken the precaution of leading your child to the knowledge of the gospel of Jesus Christ? Because that would be the wisest decision you could ever make for that child. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray that by the power of your Spirit, you lead us to an understanding of what it means to fear you properly. And I pray this in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you so much.